Hey, what is up, folks? Zero Fats here coming at you on behalf of AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. Wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what happened to me today. Uh, this is kind of a funny, stupid thing. Um, but this is all about kind of like negotiation, uh, really quick. Um, so, let, let me show you what I got here. Um, so, I hit a couple garage sales this morning, right? Uh, I went to this one garage sale, and this lady just had some odds and ends, right? She didn't have a lot of stuff, you know. She had just some odds and ends, you know, this, that, the other. I noticed, like, in one little corner of her driveway, she had a couple of board games. And, you know, like, I'm in this board game mode right now. So, I don't know why, but I, I am. Board games is what I'm into right now. Um, last summer it was coffee mugs. This summer it's, it's board games. I don't know why, but that's where it's at. But anyways, I, I saw this one, right? This Urban Myths. You know, it's not going for a lot on Amazon. It's going for like 10 or 15 bucks or something. But this is a brand new copy, right? It's brand new. It has never been opened. So that's always a good sign, right? You know, you can always reduce your risk with something that's brand new. This, generally, you can make a little bit of money off of it. Then, next to it was this old beat up cootie cooties game you know and this I had no interest in at all right this I had interest in I wanted this um, so <laughs> we asked her how much she wanted for it you know and this is funny like my girlfriend asked her how much she wanted for this right it's just like ah three dollars and I didn't react at all you know and my girlfriend's like okay and she puts it down. She just puts it down. <laughs> you know, this is kind of a funny thing. And I didn't react, and she didn't really react. She just puts it down. Um, and the lady's looking at us, you know, like, oh, did I, did I say too much money? Or You know, you can just see the wheels turning in her mind. You know, we're talking about a small amount of money here, three bucks, right? So, I say, uh, this is a, this is a nice day, you know, it's, you know, is, is this like a grotto? Like, is it, are we having these garage sales all down? Uh, we have this thing, Route 40. You guys heard of the, the mega garage sales on Route 40? It, it goes for states and states and states. And that's going on this weekend. Um, she's like, yeah, all down Route 40. I was like, wait a minute, let me try to understand what you're saying. You're saying this garage sale goes on for states? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, yeah, it goes on for states. And I was like, wow, that is awesome. I had no idea. You know, so here's the point, right? We're getting into this little conversation that has nothing to do with this, right? Or this. Uh, and we start talking, you know. I was like, oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. So those over there, and I kind of pointed these board games laying on the ground. I said, would you take like two for both of them? Right? Would you take two bucks for both of them? And keep in mind, she wanted three for this one, and she wanted one for this one. And she's like, yeah, sure, that's fine. I don't care. So I got both of these for two two dollars. So that's a dollar a piece. So instead of paying three for this, I got it for a dollar. And I got this one, which I didn't really want, but you know, maybe my kids want to play it. And if they don't, that's okay. I'll put it up for sale if it's worth at least ten. If I can get at least ten out of it, I'll put it up, whatever. Um the point is this, right? It went for a dollar for for us. You know, we kinda we kinda got that for a dollar. And <laughs> And I guess the point is, there's this whole idea, this whole method that I love, uh, called kind of called the pylon, the pylon method, you know, not pylon, but pile on, <laughs> where you uh, kind of bunch things together and you get a reduced price by bunching things together. Like I put these two games together and ask for a, a reduced price on both of them. Now it's effective, and it's effective because like, I mean, check it out, man. I wanted to pay a buck for that game. I didn't want to pay three bucks for it. But, uh, you know, I mean, there's a real good chance if I would have said, hey, would you take a buck for it? She probably would have said, how about two? And, like, we would have met in the middle at two. But instead, for two, I got that one and that one. So, just using the pile on method, just piling on a couple extra things, I reduced my price to what I wanted. Um... It sounds stupid, doesn't it? Like it's such a small amount of money, just a dollar here, a dollar there, a few dollars. But the point is it really doesn't matter, you guys. It's it's a mentality. It's it's a mentality. I could be, you know, 
negotiating with the lady at a garage sale or I could be negotiating in a factory in China through email. Either way, it doesn't matter. The same principles apply. Um, you try to get it to where your cost is as low as possible <laughs> so you can get a better ROI and you should always have that mentality of I need to get the best ROI I can get you know I'm planning on selling this board game you know I'm not planning on uh, putting it on my board game shelf and looking at it it's a brand new board game and I want to sell it uh, and a dollar works a lot better than three dollars for me I did a video uh, a little while back and I showed you guys all these board games I got and this that and the other and ROI and I hope you kind of looked at and saw how much just paying a little bit too much for something can affect your overall ROI. So, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it was such a difference between using that little pile-on method um, and just getting it for the buck that I wanted to spend instead of just trying to negotiate with her for the one board game, right? Because the one board game, you know, would have ended up making me pay probably I probably would end up paying two bucks for it just for the one board game this way I paid two bucks and I got two board games um, either you know my family can use the other one or you know I'll sell it for whatever it doesn't matter uh, the point is I got more I decrease my cost um, so remember that when you guys are out there garage sailing remember that man you can use the pile on method uh, take something you really want uh, and try, try to put it with something you don't really care about but still has some value um, and you can get your cost reduced that way I promise you it's a very solid solid tactic anyways uh, that's about all I got for you man it's the middle man it's right here at uh it's right here at the end of May and beginning of June and like the garage sales are just going crazy right now there's tons of garage sales out there there was <laughs> there was a like total salesman out there like trying to sell me this tent <laughs> and it was nuts man this other guy who was shopping the one guy who was trying to sell the tent he's like yeah you know this is a great tent blah 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 you know it, it was like a four man tent or whatever I said well look I need like an eight man tent I don't need a four man tent man so and then a customer that was at the garage sale says well man you know I live right down the road there and I got I got some really nice uh, big canvas tents some ten man tents and I might be interested in <laughs> selling them and the garage sailor the guy who was doing the garage sale man you can just see like his like like he was mad <laughs> he was mad this cat is like stealing his customer you know so on the one hand he's like ah man those things are heavy I used to hike in the the Ozarks and and uh and you know those heavy canvas tents they don't man those things are heavy you don't want to carry those things around and the other guys yeah yeah well you know uh these tents don't leak you know, when they do leak, man, you just put some spray on canvas stuff, you're good to go, man. All those newer tents, all they do is leak. And these cats were, like, going back and forth about this tent, man, trying to get us to buy this tent. I gave the one cat my number. It's like, well, you know, give me a call, man. If you think you're going to put them up, uh, give me a call. And we'll, maybe we can work something out. And I just, uh... You know, I just excuse my family. But you know, the funny thing is, man, I love that kind of stuff. Man, I love this time of year, the garage sales, <laughs> and everybody's like wheeling and dealing. It's just so funny, man. But, uh, anyways, I don't know. That's just me. I have a good time with that kind of stuff. But, uh, I don't know, man. If you guys like garage sailing, man, now's a great time of year. And, uh, you know, man, we try to focus so much on, you know, making making a profit you know making making that ROI you know uh, and, and and paying our bills and stuff we focus so much on that sometimes it's easy to forget that the reason we got into this and got out of just working a nine to five job to begin with was because wait this is like a lot of fun actually there's a lot of fun to this whole idea of of picking and uh, reselling and stuff um, so sometimes it's it's cool just to sit back and you know enjoy the the day unfolding in front of you. <laughs> but uh, so anyways, um, that's really all I got today too, man. Uh, a couple of board games, uh, one that I wanted and one that I didn't really want at all, uh, that I ended up with, and I'm really happy with it because I only paid two bucks for both of them. But uh, it's okay, man. Today was a win-win as far as I'm concerned. Um, 
but yeah so I guess that's about it didn't have a lot don't mean to ramble on the pylon method get out there and give it a try man listen don't be afraid to negotiate you guys the worst that people can say is no <laughs> it, it's not really a big deal if they say no there's thousands of garage sales out there you know garage sailors are the easiest people to negotiate with hands down uh, they're just most of them are just people trying to empty their garages out you know <laughs> so um, it's definitely a great great way to practice your negotiation skills um, but yeah man if you get a chance try that pylon method it's, it's it's pretty cool it works I'll catch up with you guys next time oh and if you get a chance check out my website we talk a lot about we talk a lot more on there about negotiation tactics there's other methods used besides the pylon method we go into that on the website adventuresontheriver.com catch up with you guys peace